everyone! It's been a long time since I did my last Gatchapon video and in that time there's been so many new and amazing Gatchapon series. Gatchapon are the toys and figures you get from the Catchapon machines in Japan. They're only two or three hundred yen and it's like blind bags, you don't know which one you're going to get. Lots of them are anime related but there's also some really strange and unusual series and that's why I like them so much. I just love to be there in the meeting when the boss says, right, we need some new ideas for Gatchapon, what have you got? and someone says, miniature petrol cans, and the boss says, yes, that's exactly what we're looking for, let's make this happen. So here's my roundup of strange, unusual and cute Gatchapon series. And if you like Japan, there's loads more videos on my channel and I've got my next trip book, so there will be new Japan videos coming up soon. So onto the Gatchapon and tell me in the comments which one you would buy. Be warned, the last one is really creepy. I've got a great one to start with. We're going straight in with the strange Gatchapon. Muscly birds. You would not pick a fight with that sparrow. He'd punch you in the face with no hesitation. And that kingfisher's giving us the thumbs down. If you thought that was strange, next we've got Oshiri Book. The girl in the picture's thinking, what's Oshiri Book? As well she might. It's a tiny book with someone hiding inside, or are they trapped? and when you open the back cover, you can see their bottom. Shiri means bottom, so Oshiri book means bottom book. And the books are real novels. You've got The Emperor's New Clothes, Snow White Princess, and then it starts to get a bit lost in translation. Puss in Boots becomes Boots Cat. He is a cat and he is wearing boots. There's a playing card book. And then we've got Peach Boy, which I thought was all about the peach, but it's actually a Japanese children's story. Next one. Why is this rabbit so desperate to unlock the padlock? And what's the bird got to do with it? What's going on here? How cute is this? Little sheep. At first I thought they were sheep in bags like goldfish you win at the fair, but then I realised the name is Konpeto Hitsuji. Hitsuji means sheep and Konpeto are a type of Japanese sweets. They look just like this in cute pastel colours. So they're sheep sweets. Or how about these sheep and alpaca that are knitting? Are they using their own wool? And if you put them in a row, they're knitting each other? There's something weird about that. And why is this bunny so depressed? Is it even a rabbit? It does have bunny ears. I think it might be an Angora rabbit. Do you remember Hamu Katsu? It was in one of my first videos and it was a trend for how cute hamster bottoms are. They've taken that idea and they've run with it. And now there's not just hamster bottoms. There's Usaketsu, Usagi rabbit bottoms, Harine Ketsu, Harinezumi hedgehog bottoms and Butaketsu buta pig bottoms. Chocolate game party! Whatever sort of party this is, I want to be invited. There's chocolate Jenga, stacking ice creams, donuts, some sort of animal cookie noughts and crosses game. It's amazing how many tiny pieces you get in this gachapon. If you like cute things, have a look at my designs. I've got hamster t-shirts, this one, all the best stuff is from Japan and loads of others too. They're on cakeswithfaces.co.uk. There's worldwide shipping and you can also get everything on Cakes With Faces on Etsy. I'll put the links in the description. Back to the gachapon! And we're onto some strange ones. Shelves and boxes. The katakana says wire rack and they have adjustable shelves. I've heard that some of these miniature items are for making scenes with your anime figures, like this one with lockers if you're making a school scene. But why would you want wire racks? What scene would that be for? I wear collection classic. It looks like a catalogue from a real opticians, but no, they're tiny gachapon glasses. What on earth is this? This is one for the train enthusiasts. It's a 3D version of a line from the Tokyo Metro. There's the Hanzamon line, the Marunouchi line. They're all real lines from the subway in Tokyo and you can fit them all together to make your own 3D model of the subway. The supermarket fish department, complete with polystyrene trays and barcode labels. There's even a mystery one. What type of fish could it be? Now we all love the Nyanko Kitchen series. You get so many tiny pieces and everything is cat themed. It's really detailed. There's a cat syrup bottle, cookie cutters. I've got to have that cat microwave. Mine just seems boring now. And a cat toasty maker. Next up, cats in cardboard box tanks and planes. 
Thrones having a mini battle. They're even using their bowls as helmets. How cute are these cat umbrellas? I want one. And these are Teru Teru Bozu, which are charms that you hang up to bring good weather. So these must be gachapon for the rainy season. Harine zui o tetsudai. Hedgehog helpers. Little hedgehogs to help you with the washing up. And ducks enjoying the onsen, the hot springs. And what's the theme of this series? Bunnies keeping warm. There's a katatsu, a stove, and a little campfire. Russian doll rabbits. Actually pretty good value for 200 yen. And the smallest one is a tiny carrot. One of my favorites, because I love hamsters, is Habu Cafe. There's been loads of series and I managed to find some of them when I was in Japan. This one is hamster ice creams. Sweet ice ham. My favorite is the ice cream sandwich. Look how big his eyes are. Now if you're looking for something classier, some more refined gachapon. Here's some champagne towers. If you can't afford real champagne, 200 yen gets you a tiny bottle. The towers really light up, but the light up table and the tower of glasses come separately, so you've got to buy enough to get both of them. The table's a bit rubbish on its own. And now the last one, which I did warn you would be scary. Abandoned theme park rides. How creepy do they look? Look at this caterpillar train. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and tell me in the comments which is your favourite. And if you like Japan, there's loads more videos on my channel. And as I said, there will be new Japan videos coming up soon too. See you next time. Bye bye.